All right. Okay. So, one second. Okay. So, dot saw is made by me and my friend Jeremy. We are both game designer and game programmers. Dot saw was made for the GMTK 2020 game jam, which just happened recently. It's a top-down 2D arcade shooter, and here is our trailer. It's like uh, optimized for. Oops. Yeah. Oh wait. Okay. So a little bit about us. My name is Sito. And I'm Jeremy. And we are both Republic Poly game design graduates. And uh, we've both actually interned at No Average Show, though at different times because Jeremy is actually my senior. And uh, so here are some of the games that we've made. You may have seen uh, Crossfire in a previous uh, industry day. Last year's industry day, I showcased Crossfire and and then I also showcased Crossfire at GameStart Asia. And Crossfire is coming to Steam. So uh, you can currently wishlist it on Steam now. And uh, if you guys have been to GameStart 2018, you may have seen uh, one of my projects that I did in uh, NAJ called uh, Own Time, Own Target. It's a one versus one arcade shooter where it takes place in a dystopian Singapore, where uh, Singaporeans of different uh, skill sets and powers have to battle each other to the death. Uh -huh. Okay, next slide. Okay, so uh, some of you may have heard of uh, Mark Brown. He's a YouTuber who hosts the uh, Game Makers Toolkit channel that talks about game design and video game analysis. And every year he hosts this 48-hour uh, game jam. And uh, me and Sid, we've decided to participate in this year's Game Jam. And the theme for the Game Jam is uh, Out of Control. Okay. So, uh, 48 hours to create a game. So, uh, when it came to the ideation, uh, me and Sid, we are huge fans of uh, action games, right? So, we wanted to go for, in, this, in Out of Control, the theme, we wanted to go for the sense that the the situation is out of control, like the arena is chaos, very frantic. So in terms of gameplay, we've made it so that every time you kill an enemy, they would split into two, you'll split into more different type of enemies, and the whole like game will get more and more chaotic as the match progresses. And we've added all sorts of other mechanics like slow motion bullet time and a dodge mechanic to help make the game feel more uh, manageable to the player. Okay, you get to see in our gameplay showcase later. Okay, next. Okay, so because it was just me and Sid working on the game, we didn't have a dedicated artist. And so we really need to have the art assets have really fast turnout and fast iteration times. And so we went for this uh, programmer's art style. So all of the art assets in the game have really basic shapes. They're just polygons and little stars. And we would actually like enhance those assets in the game's code. So let's say we want to change the color, it would just be done in the game's code rather than having to go to Photoshop and re-export, you know, and yeah, it's very time consuming that way. So when we are doing our play tests, it's really easy to just change a bunch of variables and, you know, tweak the game to uh, fit our needs very quickly. Yeah, it's very useful in a 40 hour game gen. Okay, next. And so with all the time that we've saved from having such a simple art style, we can afford to spend more time on polishing and juicing up our game. So uh, I'm going to show a gameplay video right here. And so when the saws are destroyed, they will split into smaller and faster saws until they cannot split anymore. Sometimes they'll spawn different enemies and sometimes they'll drop weapon pickups, 
So it's a kind of like gachapon feeling. But every time they'll drop energy shards. And what do energy shards do? These are little blue blue shards that you can collect. It's uh they number one they charge your supernova bar on top, which uh once it's fully charged, you can release a devastating attack. Number two, you can also replenish your shield once it's destroyed, as you can see here. Uh we also wanted to make the player feel powerful at times. So we uh so the different weapon pickups that we've added were like really powerful weapons like rocket launchers, shotguns, a rail gun that like that blasts through all enemies. And this is a supernova right here. Let me just replay it again at full volume. Ability and yeah, so, so we, yeah, so we really want it to be that every action you do in this game is very satisfying. Even something as simple as moving to the next level, right? It's an ability that you use that will clear the whole stage and it feels very satisfying to move to the next stage. Yeah. And so with all this chaos happening, we felt that the player needed some level of control. So we added a slow motion ability, which is really, really helpful. And as well as an unlockable dash ability, which you unlock at level 2. And so like with the dash ability, you can dash through uh, any uh, damage. You, you'll be invulnerable while you dash. So it, it really helps a lot to, to like counter all the chaos that's happening. Okay, so Dot Saw also features uh, boss battles. And the way boss battles work here is that we want each individual boss to be like a presence in the arena. So instead of uh, the player focusing on killing the boss, right, the bo each boss will bring its unique element to the table. So in this case, all right, the bosses would tether to all the enemies on screen, creating new obstacles. Uh, you can see the arcs of electricity that would damage the player on contact. And so you have to utilize your dash mechanic to dash through these electrical arcs to avoid damage. Okay. And in order to damage the boss, you have to fill up your supernova meter to, to release the supernova and bring the boss to its next phase. So can we head to the... Yeah, when the boss is yes, getting damaged, yes. Okay. Hey, sorry. Pressing left arrow doesn't doesn't skip yeah, the okay, video. Okay. 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 So as the as uh, we move to the next stage of uh, next phase of the boss, he has a brand new attack. This uh, very aggressive lock on homing dash attack. So the player has to time his uh, dodge and avoid his, his dash. I, I think you can skip a bit forward. Beam gun, yeah. Which is like the microwave beam from Doom Eternal, except it's not as, not as weak as that. <laughs> Okay, so we've gotten some really good feedback when showcasing this game at the uh, GMTK Game Jam. Uh, even Mark Brown was playing our game during one of his live streams and he actually said, you know, why not you know, polish this game out and release it on Steam. So we've thought about it and we've decided that sometime in 2021, we're going to release this game on Steam along, uh, after Seeds releases his Crossfire game. So we're planning to add more bosses, more weapons, and to increase the game's replayability by adding some roguelike elements. So we have plans for like an upgrade path, an upgrade system, and we hope to showcase that sometime next year. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay. So here are all the links. Jeremy will be pasting the links in the Zoom chat. You can download Dodge Saw for free right now and play it in the first link. Okay, Q&A. 
Okay, so I think questions? first question is Gwen is asking, are you guys working on the game full time right now? <laughs> we are working on it during our free time because uh, right now I, I actually I'm getting enlisted in a few days, four days. Uh, oh. And Jeremy is uh, <laughs> has university, so we we are just working on it on our spare time. It's a hobby. Okay. So you guys have to juggle the moment you at least know right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more question. Any plans to bring it to console? Uh once we Okay, because it's a hobby right now, right? We definitely console would be ideal. Uh if if we can if we can bring it to console, we will bring it to console. <laughs> yes, but Currently, because it's a, like a part-time thing, we're keeping our score a bit low first, so we're going to release it on Steam first before we consider that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other question? Will you all be showcasing this game at exhibition? Oh, this if, exist, if, if we exists. have the time. <laughs> but it depends also, right? In case yeah. you guys are like, you know, digging trench. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. All right, we still got a bit more time. Is there any other questions? Y'all can play the game now also if you feel like it. Any yeah, plans? the link the link Jeremy pasted it already, so you guys can play the game as well. Any plans to expand the team? Oh, I mean definitely we we, we could use some help with uh some uh maybe yeah like to ex we we're planning to add more bosses, more weapons. I think we could use some some uh <laughs> I have some people asking me if they, they would like to join our team to help with the art and stuff like that. Yeah. Because art isn't exactly our stronger skill set so yeah we, we would expand our team if it's possible okay uh Zetian from lionfish studio <laughs> is giving advice he said remember to keep up with the development even after enlisting yeah definitely yeah every every time i book out definitely just spend <laughs> all my time on on making <laughs> the game that's dedication right there dedication right there man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> why don't i open up the chat while i am sharing oh okay yeah, you can open up a chat. I can't see the chat. They say don't stress you. Okay, so good luck to your posting in SAF. Uh, if there's no more question, we'll move on to the next pre presenter, okay? Okay, yep. All okay. right. Bye, everyone.